hello good evening yeah in this session i will explain the concept of a distribution usage variance which is a part of a one month end activities how it will useful in the material ledger and this concept without material ledger also we can do this activity but majorly this is very close to the material ledger month end activity that's why we can learn this activity here majorly distribution usage variances are two types one is the material wise we can do this functionality second one is the activity type wise also we can do this activity what is the purpose of a distribution usage variance means normally during the period we are sending materials to the production either raw material or packed material or sfg material based on the planned quantity and similarly we are confirming activity confirmation based on the order confirmation order confirmation this is coming from master recipe or routing that means if there is any this uh, raw material and pack material issue to production order and activity confirmation is not uh, accurate that means here i will tell you an example suppose material side goods issue to the production order we send raw material issue to production then after completion of all production means month end we can count this raw material in physically if there is any disc uh, this uh, if there is any difference between inventory and the system sap system that to balance quantity we should transfer to the production based on the issue to production proportionately that means here for example raw material initially 100 quantity then production order po1 production one quantity we should do we should to 10 quantity and production to we should to suppose uh, 20 quantity then totally how much 10 plus 20 30 quantity this is as per the system point or system point of view only we consume 30 quantity but in uh, if you go and check month end what is the physical inventory count 10 minus 30 70 should be that means here 70 should be in the physical but uh, this is as per the system point of view 70 should be in the physical but instead of a 70 some uh, 60 quantity only will be available available in inventory in physical inventory in physically we can say then balance of a difference of a 70 and 60 that 10 quantity we should proportionate of these production orders based on their consumption that means here physically 70 should be because of 100 minus 10 minus 20 the 100 minus 30 totally 70 that is a clearly applicable uh, clearly available in our system but if you go and check in inventory physically then instead of a 70 60 quantity only available that to 70 portion of that difference of a portion of quantity we should do issue to the production orders based on their proportionate quantity issued to productions and however yes see this total how much first production order first production order is the 10 divided by 30 into 10 because of balance quantity then how much 
100 by 3, 30, 33 point something. 100 divided by 3, that is a value. First production order. And the second production order. 20 divided by total quantity into 100. That is how much? Into 10 quantity, sorry, 10 quantity equals to 200 divided by 200 divided by 30 quantity. This is the difference. 200, 100 divided by 100 divided by 30, 200 divided by 30. Based on this portion, again, we have to again we have to send to the respective production with this quantity 100 by 30 to this production order one, 200 by 30 to this production order. If you total add 300 divided by 30. 300 divided by 30, 10 quantity. That is the difference. This functionality by we can do of this activity. CKM DUV MAT is the functionality. Thereafter, if any differences between physical inventory to uh, system point of view, that is nothing but a physical count. After physical count, we have to do difference posting that to differences we have to allocate to the respective respective production order based on their portion of a quantity this is the functionality of a distribution usage variance for material similarly activity types also activity types means here physical inventory count will do mm side physical inventory count this is a 60 and the differences will post. But here activity types also similar different. But here there is no physical inventory count. I will tell you example. Suppose power. Power we consumed 10 kilowatts for two production orders. Production 1 and production 2. Kilowatts production one suppose seven kilowatts and production two is a three kilowatts. But month end we paid bill for twelve kilowatts. That difference two kilowatts assigned to the respective production and paid electricity bill for 12 kilowatts for the month end but initially we planned only 10 kilowatts 10 for 10 kilowatts at the time of a production order confirmation first order 7 kilowatts second order 3 kilowatts then that is okay but month end actually bill is the for 12 kilowatts then difference 2 kilowatts we should proportionate to assign to this production orders how this one 7 divided by 10 7 divided by 10 into 2 quantity this is the for first order VROD iPhone 1 and second 3 divided by 10 into 2 this is for second production order like this like this we have to do this is a 14 plus 15 this way we have to do this one that means here how much of a portion that means 12 2 is the differences we can post 7 divided by 3 10 and 3 divided by 10 divided by how much of a portion we have to complete it like this way we have to calculate this we can call as a distribution uses variances for material wise as well as activity type wise both we have to do
month end if there is any functionality available we have to do this functionality this is called as a distribution usage variances if in case of a material distribution duv mat we can use in case of activity type we can use ckm duv act understand then directly we will go in the system we can check